Hey everybody, what's happening? Sky here. Just want to show you this cool mushroom I saw the other day while I was uh, walking my dog. Thought you might be interested in it. Uh, we were just out on our property here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. I will show you this awesome mushroom that had just popped up. Uh, it's been really dry out here, so didn't really expect to see any mushrooms, but we got a pretty decent sized rain this past weekend. And lo and behold, uh, the mushrooms come out. So this is the lobster mushroom here. And it's actually two different uh, fungi. So one of them is a standard mushroom that uh, grows quite, quite readily out here in the Pacific Northwest. It's uh, the Arusula brevipes, and it's a big white mushroom. The stalk is very powdery. It breaks apart really easily. Um, and the second fungi is a parasitic fungi, and it actually attacks uh, different species, but Primarily it out here it attacks the uh, Russula species and it will then uh, consume it and turn it into this really dense hard mass and change it from white to uh, a deep orange color. Uh, and the reason they call it the lobster mushroom is because it, uh, one, it's orange and almost red to look like the lobster claw. Uh, the actual shape of it often times looks like a lobster claw. Uh, and when you cook it up, it actually uh, has a bit of a seafood smell to it. Uh, so what do you think? Check this guy out here. Pretty strange looking. Here's the underside. Got a couple other small ones over here. Uh, you can see this one has been eaten a little bit. The bugs have gotten at it. Uh, it's probably been out here a little bit too long. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, you can see this one still has a bit of the shape of the original mushroom. Uh, it's in pretty decent condition. What do you think? Should I eat it? All right, so I've got our finished uh, lobster mushroom all cooked up. Here's one of the pieces. So I added a little salt and pepper to it as well. And here we go. A little bit crunchy. Mm. But overall, um, tastes quite good. You know, as always, uh, when you're harvesting mushrooms, just uh, make sure that you know what you're picking and you can uh, identify the mushrooms uh, because uh, some of them can be poisonous. and. You know, if you're unsure, always just uh, leave it be. Uh, but it's always best to get someone who knows what they're doing to come out with you and show you around. Or, um, and definitely pick up a guidebook and there's lots of good guidebooks on Amazon or other bookstores. Um, and make sure it's uh, for your specific region because there are ones for uh, Pacific Northwest, the Midwest, East Coast, that kind of thing. Uh, hope you enjoy that.